right, welcome back to this next video in this series. In the last video, we finished off our level design and we got all that set up with some collisions and we play tested. And we also uh, set up some event sheets. And in this video, we are going to do a couple things. The first of which is set up our camera system. And when I say camera system, it's not that fancy, I promise. So let's go ahead and just double click in the layout. And I want to create a sprite object. We can place that anywhere. And let's go up here to the folder, load an image from file. And in our uh, objects folder, we have this camera sprite. So I'm going to select that, open it, and it has uh, some funky polygon going on. It's trying to guess the shape. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and right click on a node and just say set bounding box because we don't really need it, but I don't want it trying to do a bunch of math. Uh, for some reason, it's trying to read the polygon. Let's go to the origin tool and make sure that it is dead center right in the middle. And that should be at 9.5 and 9.5 because our width and height is 19 by 19. Exit out of that and rename that camera. With that selected, I'm going to go down here. Let's edit behaviors and add a new behavior. Scroll to. So now our camera object has the game engine's camera behavior, which is the scroll to. Go into our main event sheet and I'm going to right click and add a group. I'm going to call this camera and I'm going to add an event to camera and that is going to be a system every tick and every tick which means every frame that the game plays which is 60 frames per second for uh, most of the time. So every tick of the game, every frame, we are going to set its position. So let's add an action and I'm going to pick the camera object and I'm going to just type in set position and that position is going to be our player.x for the x value and player.y for the y value. So that is going to set the position every frame of this camera object to our player's x and y value. And since our camera object has the scroll to behavior, that's going to make the game engine's camera follow the camera object, which is following the player. So before we play that, let's go into our object types, our sprites, our objects, and let's find our player. Click on our player and come over here to edit behaviors and let's delete the scroll to that we have on the player because we no longer want the camera to follow the player at all. We want to do all our camera following with the camera object. We are going to be able to control uh, a few other things throughout the game with the camera object whenever we don't want to focus in on our player object. Go ahead and play. And you can see our camera object is at our player's origin point, which is at the bottom middle of the sprite, which is at its feet. And our camera is following us, so that works. Okay, I'm going to exit out of that. Let's go to our camera object. And with it selected, let's scroll down and untick initially visible. So now we don't have to see the camera. And while I'm at it, I'm going to drag the camera object into our meta folder. So that's how that should look. And we can go ahead and play that again real quick, see what it looks like. And there we go. Following our player and we don't have to see the actual camera object anymore. All right. Now one more thing before I end this video. Uh, it's pretty simple, straightforward video, pretty short but I'm going to add a metadata layout. So come over here to layouts and right click on the layouts folder. Let's add a layout and it's going to ask us if we want to create an event sheet with this layout as well. And we do. So add event sheet. 
the size of this layout uh, does not matter at all. I'm just going to leave it at this 720 by 1280. And I am going to open the event sheet. This is the event sheet it created for it. Actually, first, uh, with this layout, just click anywhere in the layout, and we can rename this. And since it's a layout, I'm going to keep it all caps, and I'm just going to call it Meta. And then the event sheet I'm going to rename as well. And it's just going to be Meta in lowercase. And I'm not going to put an E in front of that because uh, it's just the naming convention that I'm going with. This is not going to be an event sheet that we access very often. In fact, the event sheet is only going to be used to destroy items. So I'm going to double click to bring up the meta event sheet. And we will be coming back to this throughout the project to add just a couple of things here and there. We don't have anything to add to it yet because uh, what we're eventually going to do, we're going to use the meta layout and the meta event sheet to take care of some, uh, just some background stuff that needs to happen for other things to work. And I'll, we'll get into that later. I don't want to explain too much about it right now because uh, we're not dealing with it right now. I'd rather explain it when we get into it. This is basically going to be a dumping ground for us but it's going to be a necessary dumping ground. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of both of those tabs just because I'm trying to keep some of this clean. And on our main event sheet, we have our camera group with our camera action set up. So it's going to always follow our player as long as we are telling it to. That is it for this video, short and sweet. And in the next video, we are going to start coding the death logic. This gets pretty exciting. We start to really get into managing code. We are going to create our own little particle system and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to save.